hey y'all welcome back to the channel and we got another recap video of love island season three this is episode 12 so if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications if you like the video smash that like button and drop a comment down in the comment section below so without further ado let's jump into this video so we have again another episode of love island with our islanders and Giovanni is lost. Cache won't her man Cinco back. Um, of course, Olivia is now thinking that she has an opportunity with Will. Corey is just sitting back biding his time as he was put in the friend zone. And the rest is yet to come. So there's this conversation that Giovanni is having with uh, Olivia and she is just not there she is a million miles away because of course her mind is still on Will based on that whole game that they played yesterday when that subject came up about if there was somebody that you could couple up with who would that have been and of course she came up when it came to Will so she's been stuck on that which has her completely tuned out. And, you know, Giovanni is like, look, you know, you giving me basically no energy, short answers. I'm trying with you. I don't know what angle to reach with you. And I just want to know where your head is at. And you can tell it's just like she's just looking straight through him. It's just not there. And Giovanni is a smart dude. He knows deep down in his heart that this girl is not being 100. I just think he's been waiting for her to speak her truth. And she's not doing that. She's just basically saying, oh, it's nothing. Oh, you know, it's just, I, I, I just think you're joking all the time. I need you to get serious and you're not being intentional. And it's like, he's looking at her like, yeah, okay. If that's what you say. I'm listening. And she know that's not the, the truth. And a part of her, you know, with her saying what she's saying, she can't. I'm wondering if she even believe in her own words. She want to talk to Will. And these two, meaning Kira and Will, they are just also adorable. I don't care. I love them. I think it's great. I love love. I told you guys that before. But... Corey decides to have a conversation with Will about, you know, well, trying to get, I guess, trying to be like a little spy for Olivia. And Will pretty much told him straight up, yeah, I know what I said in that game, but I'm not on that with her like that in so many words. He didn't say it exactly like that. And then she jumps in the bed with Corey to try to get the scoop. And he was like, well, you know, um, he's not like that. He's not pushing like that for you. And I like the fact that when Kira came to bed to be with Will, they got up on the covers and they started talking. And Will put it out there like, look, this is what's going on. I like the fact that they on a united front with each other. He's not keeping anything from her. She's not keeping anything from him. They talk, they keep every, they keep each other up to date with everything. I really like that, you know, because Will could have kept that to himself, but he didn't. And so even with this whole conversation, even that, um, Olivia had with Corey, I don't, what you going to do with that? You know, I mean, he's telling Corey on the side, like, yeah, I think she cool and all she's a beautiful woman, but, uh, you know, he ain't feeling you like that. But sometimes you got to let people take their path and get their own answers. And them answers sometimes is going to hit them right in the face. And, of course, the conversation is still going on under the sheets between several people. I have uh, the captions on there as well. But the bottom line is Will is not there. And as I say, as they say on The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, I don't know if I'm going to get there with you. And he won't. He's not going to get there with Olivia. So Olivia and Cash is having this conversation. Because remember, they have Operation Heart Attack. Which sounds like for one of these folks, we don't know if both, it might be Operation Heartbreak. In the meantime, um, 
you know, there's a conversation that happens between Cache and Giovanni. And Giovanni is putting it out there too. I think he's fishing. Giovanni's a smart dude. He know something's up. He said it. He said, I'm seeing, you know, uh, everybody talking. What the heck is going on? And why is Olivia not being 100 with me, being distant? Cash wouldn't really say. Now, she did talk about her and Cinco and how she really want him. And Giovanni is like, you need to go for yours. You know, I understand Trina came in the middle of that triangle, but you need to go for yours. And, you know, let this man know that, you know, you want him and this is how you feel. But she definitely wasn't giving up any deets on Olivia. Now, let me ask you guys, was it her place to tell? At first, I was like, Cash, you need to talk to him. That's your friend. But at the same time, there was another part of me that was like, nah, that's Olivia's place to, to speak to that dude. She needs to have some transparency with him. But he, but Giovanni was definitely looking for Cash to give him some insight on what the heck is going on with Olivia. So, I mean, it's it's unfortunate, you know, I would say that Cash did bring up the whole joking thing that, you know, you always joking a lot. You need to be uh, straightforward with her. And that's what she wants because everything is a joke with you. And he's like, you know, I really like this girl. I've been coming at her with all angles, but it's just not working. And so Cash still didn't really give him what, you know, Olivia is actually trying to do with Will. But, you know, she kept it light. And at the end of the day, I actually think it was best for her to have Olivia be the one to speak that truth in regards to where she stands. So now we see Josh and Shannon. They're having a conversation, kind of giving an overall opinion of all of the couples in the house. And, you know, actually, they look different with both their glasses on. I'm like, look at them all studious and whatnot with their spectacles. But they were like, oh, you know, they feel really good with the position that they're in. They definitely was giving conversation on what was going on uh, with regards to uh, Olivia and Giovanni. And that, you know, that they're just not their persons. I mean, especially what Josh says, you know, that he's a good guy. It's just that he's not a good guy for her and and meaning that that's not her person and vice versa, you know, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody is not for everybody. Just because you meet up and join forces with somebody in a relationship or conversation don't mean it's going to work out. And it isn't a bad thing always. It's just that the two of you are just not meant to be. There's no compatibility there. And that's what he was saying in regards to uh, Giovanni and Olivia. And I, I totally agree with that. You know, if something don't fit, don't force it. It don't force it. It's going to make it worse or else put a bunch of bumps and bruises on it because it just is not going to work. So we see, we have, um, Shannon having a conversation. Or was that Florida? I'm sorry. Florida having a conversation with Giovanni about all of this. And, you know, she's been distant. He wants to know why she's being passive aggressive. She's not talking. And that's what he wants some transparency. Like you need to talk to me. That's all I want you to do. And it's not like he didn't try. He it's not like he didn't try, but he, she wasn't talking. However, she was talking to cash because they still got this pact going on. And you know, I think Cash gave her the advice that, you know, you need to talk to him. You need to let him know what's going on. And at the same time, you need to let Will know how you feel. And then, of course, she was giving advice on how she needs to go and address Cinco and the whole Trina situation. My opinion, I think she needs to leave that whole situation alone. That's just me. I know I've seen in the comments people saying she needs to go for her man and whatnot. But I just see it's, it's, it's really messy at this point, you know. 
But let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think Cass should go after Cinco or do you think she should wait for somebody else? So, of course, Kira and uh, Will are just being so lovey-dovey as usual. I absolutely love it. I might be an unpopular opinion, but, you know, they do discuss, I would say, the whole conversation about Olivia. One thing I admire about Kira, she does not show that she's insecure at all. She has a lot of faith and trust in this man. So I don't know if it's just the maturity level or she's just putting all her eggs in one basket when it comes to him. And he really hasn't given her any reason to feel otherwise. They've already talked about how he felt whether or not if she was here that he would go after Olivia. So they've had that that conversation. That's why I look at these two. They, they have a little bit more substance than some of these other couples. I know there's a couple other people. You know, you got Josh and Shannon and all of that. But there's a little bit more depth to them. I know we see a lot of kissing and whatnot going on. I wish they would give them more camera time so we can get to know more about that couple. So, I mean, at this point, Shannon, I mean, not Shannon, sorry, Olivia has decided that she's going to shoot her shot. She's telling the girls, I'm going to do it. I'm going to talk to this man. You know, I hate to try to come in between them, but I got, I don't want to have any regrets or wonder if what I should have, could have, would have done. And she's been pretty much mentally absorbed about that idea. On the flip side, we have Trina, who's feeling a little insecure. Now, she's opposite of what Kira has going on. Trina has been hurt, obviously, badly before. And because she says she see Cash and Cinco making googly eyes at each other and the connection that he has with her, they play a lot together, they work out together. Remember the other day, they was in boxing gloves. They she He was helping her put on a do-rag. Trina feeling some kind of way about that. And she don't know how solid her position is. Now, one thing I will say about Cinco, he is really calm and with few words. And he pretty much says, you know, you ain't got nothing to worry about that. Yeah, I had a connection with her, but I got you. That's all we get from Cinco. So, you know, at least with Will, and I don't want to compare the two of them. I'm just talking about the, the relationships because these two people are involved. Will puts it all on the letter. Nope, I'm with you. We're good. I told her I'm not interested. We know where we stand. You know how I feel, but I'm not in that. Whereas he's a different person, of course. And Cinco is like, you know what? You just pretty much got to trust me. Hey, yeah, I had a connection with her. I still think she cool. But at this point, it's about me and you. And I care about you too. So we'll see how this goes it made her feel a little bit better for the moment but i don't know how solid that is so while kira and will is relaxing she decides to sashay over and pull will aside for a little chat now you can tell by the look on kira's face she's you know wondering what's going on but she's not falling apart you know, she's looking like, okay, let me see what he going to do. And honestly, that's the position she should be. Not worried about her. Pretty much saying, okay, we're in this relationship. Let me see what he's going to do. And so she shoot her shot. She pretty much says to Will, I think the world of you. And he was like, the world? What do you mean the world? And then she was like, oh, I, I really like you a lot. And so he was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought that was hilarious. Anywho, um, but she she put it out there. I think we could have a great future together. And I'm like, a great future? Gosh, you just turned into his interest in the last 24 hours. And she didn't peg the whole future with this man. And, I mean, she put it out there. She put her heart, her soul, her thoughts, her future out there with uh, you know, telling Will how she feel. And Will was like, you know, I think you're a great girl. I think you're absolutely beautiful. But what I have going on with Kira, I'm in a good place. And pretty much that's it, you know. And, of course, Kira is like, you know what? They up there talking. 
I'm going to see what he going to do. She wasn't flinching. She wasn't crying. She wasn't feeling insecure. We didn't see the things that Trina was doing with Kira. She was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to watch this unfold. And I'm going to, he's going to manifest what's going to happen. She feels really solid with what she got going on with Will. So obviously there's more to them. Like I said, a little bit more depth than what they're giving us on the show. Because she is that secure. Now, again, we're only at episode 12. I think we got probably a, a good 25 more episodes plus Casa Amora. So, is anybody else going to come in and turn his head? We don't know. We want to see. I want to see if these two can go for the long haul. But Miss uh, Olivia, with her Operation Heart Attack, when it came to will turned into operation heartbreak because it was a flat out yeah thanks but no thanks and she was definitely you know disappointed i mean hey she had to put it out there you know she said she was glad she talked to him she was definitely upset because nobody not too many people like rejection and um she took it kind of hard But she said she glad that she did it because at least she now knows where she stands. And the look on Kira's face, she knew. She was like, yeah, it's a wrap. Because she went walking away by herself with teary eyes. And so also Trina is watching because Cachet is now shooting her shot with Cinco. Cinco has this look on like, okay, where this coming from? And she put it out there like, you know what? I think everything about you is what I need for a man in my life. And I know, you know, the situation that we came out of, his facial expressions was priceless. Because one of the things that was a topic of conversation that both of them said is that Cache did not open up in the beginning and was not vulnerable. And now she's putting it all out on the table and Cinco is like, man, how come she couldn't have these conversations like this when we pretty much were together, you know, early on? But the question is, is it too late? Because, you know, whatever Cinco has with Trina, is it strong enough to sustain the connection that he has, uh, you know, uh, with the connection that he has with Cash? Is it going to be something where... He's like, okay, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Maybe I should go back and explore this. Or he's going to be like, you know what? I'm going to need you to be vulnerable and open up all the time. Not wait two, three, 12 days to do it. So honestly, like I say, I don't think she should go there. But hey, we'll see how it unfolds. I do see the transparency again with Will. Because he decides to go and tell Kira about the conversation that um, Olivia had with him as well and that's what I like about these two they don't hide things from each other they talk about everything and that's part of having that united front that I said you know he again that other conversation I said earlier he could have kept that to himself same thing with this one he could have been like oh it was nothing you know we were just talking no he put it out there this is what she said this is what she wanted how she felt about me and this is what i told her that's i mean will seem to be a pretty good dude so far i have no qualms with that and you know again hey i like these two i have no problem with them building the connection that's what they come on this show for. If they're actually truly looking for a love connection and they make one, I'm not going to knock it. So I'm, I like the fact that they're both transparent with each other. They're both affectionate with each other. They keep it real with each other because for him to say, yeah, if you weren't here, I would have had a connection with her. But you're here and you're the one that's in my life important. I'm staying with you. Ain't nothing wrong with that transparency. However, there's some more transparency, and that's Cachet having a conversation with Trina. Cachet is putting her on notice. Yes, I went back. I talked to Cinco. I let him know that he got a lot of qualities that I see in him. And, you know, I think he's the man for me. And she goes into this emotional 
you know, headspace. Uh, oh, I see you guys making googly eyes, and I've been hurt before, and I don't want to be in that situation again. And I was wondering how Cash was going to respond to it. But she was pretty much quiet. She let her talk it out. And, you know, um, it didn't become a whole ball of emotions between the both of them. It's pretty much Cache listening at her and seeing where she's coming from. But she definitely had a straight face, you know, whereas Trina, you know, it was she was putting, I don't want to be hurt. I've been hurt too many times before. And, you know, um, I don't know where you guys stand. And it makes me feel some kind of way. You know, she was an emotional mess. And, of course, Cinco was sitting back chilling in the cut. He's thinking about what uh, Cache brought to the table in their conversation. Again... I've seen the two sides. I'm on the side that she needs to find someone else. A lot of folks are saying, nope, go back and get your man. What do you think? I want to know what you guys think. You guys have been pretty vocal in the comment section. Like I said, I've been reading and liking them, but I want to know what you guys think. So Giovanni is just pretty much giving up. He looks deflated. He don't know what's going on. Olivia is not talking to him. And she decides that after being rejected by Will, she, I thought, I said, watch this girl go and try to rekindle things with him. And I, I was like, that would be horrible if she did that. Well, to my surprise, she decided to go and pretty much tell him and be transparent. You know what? I don't think we're going to be a good fit. It's in your best interest for me to let you go so you can start exploring other possibilities with other women that come in this villa. She freed him. And I'm glad she did. Because there's no reason for her to keep going in this merry-go-round of whatever she was doing for all this time. When she really wasn't 100 with him. And he was happy about that. He was like, thank God I'm free. I can do what I want. I can be me. And I'm like, dang, Giovanni, you, you, can, you could have been you. Whoever you want to, whoever he chooses to be with, they need to accept him for who he is. And like she said, she was too busy trying to change him. Please don't try to change someone. You got to let them be who they are. Now, if that fits for you, fine. If not, then you need to reconsider. Don't try to change people. They have to want to change on their own. So Kira, of course, is having a conversation now with Olivia and Olivia's you know she said yeah I tried to shoot my shot with your man and you got a good dude he didn't he's not interested in me he wants to continue to you know pursue things with you I will say about this season everybody tend to be a little bit more I would say genuine and a little bit more um open about having conversations with people i didn't see so many hugs so many well let me know what let me let you know what's going on conversations you usually don't get that in these shows so i find that refreshing some people think it's a lack of drama but hey to each his own some people like a little bit more of entertainment and some people look for love so that's me but kira has that conversation with um Trina as well because you know Shannon had to go run to the bathroom and so we have Kira actually sitting with Trina because she's still you know upset about everything that's going on with this whole triangle that's been restarted again so it was time for everybody to do their I guess get together and Ariel arrives and you know when Ariel arrives somebody is possibly going home and of course they as she's coming into the villa she's definitely spotted by um you know the the crew and so she you know told them to go over and sit um by the bonfire area and she said america has voted and or who their favorite couple is and so she also mentioned that four people are going to be going home so the first couple, which was number one, was Kira and Will. Number two was Cache and Corey. Number three was Shannon 
And Josh, they had to save a couple, which was Cinco and Trina, which that didn't surprise me. I figured they were going to try to keep him around for cachet. And then they also have to choose um, a gr- two girls and I think two guys or a girl and a guy from the remaining people that's left. Honestly, myself, Jeremy need to go home. They might send Wes home and keep um, Giovanni. And on the girl side, they need to keep Florida for Corey if he's going to try to explore that. I'm not sure if I'm interested in that, but I like to watch that. And then maybe Amy and um, Olivia go home. So let me know what your thoughts are. We'll get that tomorrow because they left that as a cliffhanger for us. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.